Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is a 45 liter backpack from Roaring Fire Gear. And um, they reached out to me a while ago to ask me to do a review, and I just didn't have time at that point, which worked out well for both of us because they actually sold these out really quickly and so they had to refill their supply. So they've got them on Amazon. Now. And having used this pack and checked it out, checked it out, this is a, um, a budget-friendly backpack that I find to be very well made for a very reasonable price. So 45 liters, lots of space to store gear. Let's take a look at it and talk through some of the details. All right, so starting off on the back, you've got molly webbing all over here. You've got molly here and then up top. Up here, you can actually attach patches. As you can see, I have my Roaring Fire gear patch. Down here, the main thing I want to point out is that there, the stitching is really good on the molly webbing. Sometimes people just do single stitches on cheap gear. This is at least two, maybe three times over. So um, it looks very solid. The attachment points are gonna be good so you can put extra gear, patches or pouches, other things on this, uh, this lower section. Now we do have a pocket here and a pocket here. Then we have a second section and then a third main section. So lots of ways to, uh, to store your gear and to organize it. Let's talk about the outside a little bit. We do have this strap that goes over the top. So as the pack gets kind of filled out this way, you can use this to cinch it down. I do have some gear in here, but not a ton at this point. Um, but the main thing I want to point out is that as it gets bigger, this is going to allow you to kind of keep it a little bit more compact. In addition to that strap, you have straps here on the sides. So these are compression straps. You can also obviously run gear along the side. One up top and then this one down below. Let me just click this together for you. We also have molly webbing on this side and same setup on this side. So yeah, on this side, same thing. So. Uh, a uh, buckle up there with a strap, buckle here with a strap, and then more molly webbing. So again, as you can see, lots of places to attach gear on this uh, on this pack. Flip it around to the back here real quick. You can see we've got some nice cushion, and it does have that aeration, so it's going to help with airflow a little bit and keep it a little bit less sweaty. A couple D-rings to attach gear. We do have um, some some webbing here and some webbing here so that you can attach gear. This I would prefer if this was more elastic. It isn't, but not the end of the world. Um, this, the material that you have here against your back is the same for what's on your, um, on your shoulder straps. And then just a lot of ways to cinch this down and to organize it. I pulled this, uh, this top strap out a little bit here, but this is gonna adjust how it actually rides on your shoulders. So you can set that up. Up on top, we've got a nice grab handle, again, with quality stitching. And then you've got a pass through here for your um, hydration bladder tube that's gonna come out there. And I think that's pretty much most of the stuff on the, um, on the outside. Let me, do, let me point out here real quick. We do have a, uh, a waist belt as well. No extra padding here. My sense is because of the size of the pack, that's not gonna be a huge issue um, for anybody. You're gonna, you can carry a lot of gear in it, but I think this should be enough basically to keep it from, you can put a little extra weight on your hips, but it's gonna mainly keep it just from shifting all around. We do have a sternum strap. As you can see, that's slid down pretty far. So you're gonna to wanna to slide it up and then maybe run it through one of the pieces of webbing here to keep it in place. But sternum strap and a waist, uh, waist belt as well will give you some nice control as you fill up the pack. So turning it back around to the, uh, to the front section, let me unclip this and show you some of these pockets. So this is your first front large pocket. Inside, we do have some internal organization, put some pens or other things and then a larger section, and then a larger section of organization behind that. You can kind of see that this looks almost like rubberized there. That's gonna give you uh, better abrasion resistance, and then also as far as damp things that are in there, it's just gonna resist better than just your standard, um, your standard material. So when you expand that out, I mean, you've got, let me unclick this a little bit here. You got a lot of storage even just in that front section of that main pocket, and then you've got this one up here no internal organization, but it's quite it's quite deep and quite quite a large inside as far as your length. So I would think like a Shimog scarf in there, GPS, put your glasses inside a Shimog scarf. A lot of storage right up here for things that you want quick, easy access to. For me, when I'm backpacking with friends, I'll often put easy access items here. And so I don't have to take the pack off. I'll say, hey, can you reach into that top pocket and get out, you know, my scarf, my sunglasses, granola bar, whatever it might be. So there's your front two sections on the pack. Now I'll unclip these side straps and we'll get into the next section of the pack here. Let me find the zippers over here on the side. So once you get into this next section, again, 
a little bit of internal organization, some mesh pockets so you can put some gear in there, and then a larger one behind. Again, that kind of rubberized, uh, rubberized coating there, and just a lot of internal storage in that second space as well. So, you know, this is where I'd probably throw like an extra coat, a set of pants, maybe gloves, mittens, hats, things like that when I was out, uh, when I was out hiking with this pack. So that's your second section. I guess it's your one, two, third, third main pocket. Now we're gonna get into the main section of the bag where I did put a bunch of gear just to show you what it can actually carry. Okay, so this section opens up clamshell style. We've got a section here and then a section here. Uh, this one, I threw a Wazoo survival gear hat in and I've got a cup and a um, battle box uh, water bottle and then I just threw a sticker in here. But you've got some organization here and that's just like a, a really big pocket inside. You could put stuff on top of this. You could put things in the pocket as well. And again, here's your pass through up at the top so you can put your um, hydration bladder through there. Um, you could just slide your hydration bladder in here and then run it out of, um, out of here. You can see there's no, um, there's no like hook and loop section up here to uh, like hang a hydra hydration bladder from. Now spinning this around to the other side, these mesh pockets are great because you can actually see what's in there being stored, but obviously it'll keep it a little bit more organized. So you've got a section here and then a section up top. This top section is zipped. In here I've got like a little stove, a flashlight, some fat wood. So that's up here in this top section. Again, organized and this will be more under control since there's a zipper up top. Down here on the bottom I've got a headlamp and then I've got these orange screws for uh, like setting up a tarp or something. Again, tons of organization there. I've got a little um, tool and an Olight flashlight up here hanging off a carabiner from the, um, from the upper zipper. So tons of organization and I'll just show you real quick here. When we close this up and then zip it up, I mean, you can see here, once you, uh, once you expand it, there's a lot of storage space from that front section to the second to the third section as well. So lots of, uh, lots of storage for a very, what I would consider a very compact backpack. So two more things to show you here and then I'll actually put it on so you can see what it looks like on me. We've got another panel here where you can put some gear right along your back. Maybe if you're gonna carry a, uh, a computer, you've got the padding here, but you can slide it down in. You could put a plate in here. Um, I'm thinking like Premier has the, um, has their Premier body armor. You could slide one of those in. They're not cut to the size perfect for this backpack, but you could certainly do that. Um, and then the other thing is down here on the bottom, we've got some uh, some webbing that you could attach there to uh, run a bedroll. So you could put a sleeping bag, you could put a tarp, your entire bedroll, your system, your wool blanket, whatever it is there on the bottom. All right, so here's a quick look at it actually on my body. I've got the waist strap set up, you know, right around my waist should be on your on your hip bones right there. And then here's your sternum strap. There's a look from the side and then I'll show you the back. So I don't have this thing loaded down with a ton of gear, but just the way it sits, it's comfortable. Sometimes you got pa um, the padding or the straps like cut in just strangely for you. Um, yeah, it's comfortable. You know, you can adjust all these straps to be the right size for you or cinch this down or make it looser, however you want it set up. But um, yeah, nice pack. So right now on Amazon, at the time of this video, this pack is $39.99. You can also get it in black as well. This is, I guess you would call it tan. It's got a little bit of a leaning toward a flat dark earth, but I would generally call it tan. Um, so you, the black version costs a little bit more, but for you know 40 bucks to get this and the overall quality of it, I think it's very budget friendly and offers a lot of functionality. This is not gonna be equivalent to a Maxpedition or a Vertex, um, like a VanQuest. Those guys just offer overall the quality of the material is just exceptional, but you're gonna pay 150 bucks, 125 bucks for a pack. For 40 bucks, I think you're getting a really good deal for a budget friendly or an entry level pack for, certainly if you use kind of a minimalist approach overall to your packing, uh, spring, fall, and summer camping, you could definitely use this. For winter camping, you're probably gonna need something a little bit bigger or somebody else in your camping party to have a larger, uh, a larger pack. But yeah, I mean, as far as, you know, my initial impressions of this pack, pretty, pretty impressed for the price versus the value. The first thing I always check on packs like this is the stitching. If the stitching is good, it's generally, you have the general sense of they've put time and effort into the pack. If the stitching bat is bad, it's like they've taken it from another company, cloned it, made it cheap, and they're just pumping them out. 
So again, for 40 bucks for what you're getting and the overall quality that I've seen so far, I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed. I'll put a couple links down below in the description section of other YouTubers who have checked out this pack. Um, again, so far, I feel like I've seen quite good reviews. The reviews on Amazon, um, I'm always, you know, you gotta be careful just cause like who's doing the reviews. Maybe it's a verified purchase, but yeah, I'm just a little bit more skeptical. But when I see other people who I know have tested a lot of gear and still give a thumbs up to a piece of gear or, or a product, that's usually a good sign to me. And so I would say, you know, for an entry level backpack, it's considered a tactical backpack, but you know, I would use this for, um, you know, an emergency bag. I would use it for camping, hiking, backpacking, bushcraft. If you want to uh, have a, a bag that you can use to carry extra gear when you're traveling, this could be a bag for that as well. So uh, if you own any Roaring Fire gear, uh, let me know about that. They have a smaller version of this pack. Um, that seems like it's also pretty popular as well from what I'm seeing um, out there on the interwebs. So let's hear your thoughts on this pack and other gear from Roaring Fire if you've checked any other stuff out. All right guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.